With South Korea's fuel prices rising to all-time highs, as they are in many countries, the government's announced a further fuel tax cut, this time to the legal maximum. Along with the measure on fuel, the government's announced more support to stabilize people's livelihoods, which includes food prices and utilities. Um ji -young reports. With gasoline prices hitting daily record highs in many countries around the world, the South Korean government is trying to ease the burden on local drivers. Finance Minister Chu kyung ho announced at an emergency meeting on Sunday that the tax cut on fuel will be increased to the highest level allowed by law. Starting from July, in order to lower the prices of petroleum goods, there will be a further cut to the fuel tax to the legal cap of 37 percent. It's already been cut by a record 30 percent, with the fuel tax now at around 40 U.S. cents per liter. Under the new measure, there will be an additional cut of 5 cents a liter. Fuel prices in South Korea have trended higher for a sixth week in a row, hitting record highs. According to the oil price website Opinet, run by the Korea National Oil Corporation, the average price of gasoline on Sunday was roughly 2,108 won per liter. That's more than one U.S. dollar and 60 cents, depending on the exchange rate, breaking a 10-year high. Diesel, which has usually been cheaper than gasoline, has also risen to an all-time high, surpassing gasoline at around 2,116.1. With fuel prices soaring, the government will also provide tax benefits for people who are choosing to take public transport. From the second half of this year, the income tax deduction rate will be doubled to 80 percent when public transport fares are paid by card. He added that the government will also work to bring down food prices. It's going to closely monitor supply, provide discounts and remove import duties on certain items that are likely to see price surge further. To further minimize the hit to consumers, the government is going to minimize the increase in utility bills as well. Although production prices are rising amid the surge in global energy prices, the government, through painstaking effort, will minimize the hike in electricity and gas bills. Chu also announced support for living expenses for those in groups deemed socially vulnerable. From this coming Friday, payments of 1 million won each, or about $770, will be distributed to some 2.3 million households on low incomes. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.